Good morning. It is my honor to welcome each and every one of you all today into the esteemed Frobingham Park for the Oliver Ames Class of 2022 graduation ceremony. Working diligently through all their endeavors, obstacles, and responsibilities these past four years, the students before me have humbly earned the recognition they will receive today. Thank you to State Senator Walter Timothy and Representative Carol Doherty, who are in attendance today, the administration, the Easton School Committee, Principal Ms. Cavanaugh, Assistant Principals Mrs. Queeley and Mr. Flanagan, and the counselors, and all the teachers who have supported us along the way. We could not have reached this point without the people who have guided us. In addition, I would like to give a special thank you to the families who have selflessly provided and cared for us our whole lives and have been a support system for us every step of the way. To my parents, I wanted to say, To my fellow graduates, we did it. But let me remind you, today is not the end. This is only the beginning. As I gaze around this park today, I see plenty of new and familiar faces. But I would be remiss if I did not honor the people who could not be with us here today. In the four years we spent here together at OA, we have overcome so much loss, grief, and change. But we did it all together. United by the shared bonds of a global pandemic, divided by the barriers of six feet of distancing and surgical face masks, when all odds were against us, this class ignited our connection and walked the halls of OA with spirit, pride, and optimism. Even though we were separated by three schools, Parkview, Center, and Moreau Hall, Hawks for Life, and we were met with the great schism of Richardson versus Olmsted, we finally came together as one entity at the middle school, back when our biggest concerns were standing on the wall outside the lunchroom, when we forgot our ID tags, and which team got to play first at Pack the Gym Night. Since then, we have been inseparable in our final moments as graduates. This class was always nuanced. In addition to being the very last members of these pre-fused elementary schools, we were the first class to participate in Kaleidoscope Night, the first class to carry all five of our binders in hand without backpacks in the middle school, and the first class to win Hall Day as sophomores. <laughs> this class had many firsts. As this nuanced class continues in their future, we can no longer mend the past mistakes of generations and no longer reassemble broken puzzle pieces, but we are the ones to invent a new world that unites us all. The ones who will continue to transform our communities through a series of firsts. Behind the screens of remote learning, our class showed up, taking first place in the virtual spirit day. Separated by two cohorts in school, our class showed up with support for one another. And most significantly, when we're turning back to school normal with full-time in-school learning, our class showed up filled with excitement and determination. The OA class of 2022 is resilient and remarkable, transcending every obstacle that has been thrown our way. It is without doubt that this class is the most emotional class to walk through the corridors of Oliver Rain. On the last day of school, from the waking hours of 4 a.m. to watch the sunrise as a class, to the very end of the school day, at 3 p.m., filling the parking lot, students cannot help but shed many tears. And by shedding many tears, for some, that meant bawling their eyes out. Yet, amidst the emotions and sadness of leaving high school, this experience only further cemented the true impact this class has shared with one another. Mr. Gillis, once nominated teacher with the best advice and wisdom, reminded me, it is wonderful to see these students cry because that means they built something so incredible that makes saying goodbye so difficult. This class forms lifelong friendships and connections that are all guided by our ability to leave our mark on the Oliver Ames community. Now, today in the glory of celebration and recognition, it is easy to forget the struggles and difficulties that are interwoven into our journeys toward success. I promise you that there will be more endeavors, obstacles, and hard days ahead. But I remind you that among these dark days, inevitably, there will be light. 
This class is filled with so much spirit from the Friday night lights to turf nights to the blackout themes at sports games. It is no surprise that when faced with darkness, the OA class of 2022 comes out to play. It is as this class approaches their futures, wherever the direction may be, I want you all to take a second and look at the sunrise. A sunrise marks the beginning of a new day and the light at the end of the tunnel. I began my speech by reminding you that this is the beginning, not the end. On our final day of senior year, we flooded the turf to watch the sunrise and celebrated the beginning, not the end. In a few years from now, no matter what city, state, or country we may end up in, take a glimpse at the sunrise for me, the universal light that binds us all together. Thank you, the OA class of 2022. It is now my pleasure to welcome this year's valedictorian to the stage, Kailash Ganesh. Good morning, class of 2022. I'm honored to be speaking in front of all of you today. After a long and definitely unique four years, we finally made it to graduation. We went from eager freshmen to stressed out sophomores and juniors navigating learning during a global pandemic to finally triumphant seniors leaving our legacy on Oliver Ames and the Easton community. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Being here today, despite all the challenges we have faced, is a testament to our resilience, determination, and commitment to excellence. I am thankful for the Oliver Ames faculty and administration for creating a positive and fruitful environment and for setting us up for future success. I'm definitely gonna miss saying hi to Mr. Flanagan in the halls, chatting with Mrs. Vaslu in the library, and bugging Mrs. Sweeney with all my questions about our senior events. I'm also thankful for all of our families and loved ones that are here today and who have supported and guided us along the way. Of course, none of us would be the person we are today without them, so thank you for dragging us out of bed in the morning. Thank you for driving long hours to our sporting and music events. And yes, even thank you for stopping our grades on next two. And finally, I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Over the past 13 years, we laughed, we grew, and we shared unforgettable memories together. There is no other group of people I would have rather spent this era of my life with, and I'm grateful to have forged lifelong friendships with you. We, as a class, are confident. Thinking back to our first pep rally during freshman year, we entered the gymnasium inexperienced and innocent. As we gathered on those bleachers, we didn't know what to expect, but once the music started playing and the game started rolling, our inner tigers emerged. We were loud, we were bold, and we did not back down from the fight. Even as freshmen, our chance roared in comparison to that of the sophomores and juniors at the time, and we even gave the seniors a run for their money. We tackled every event with that same ferocity and determination, willing our way to victory in some, while graciously accepting defeat in others. Even though we didn't always win, our unshakable confidence was always something to be admired. We, as a class, are resilient. On the now infamous date of March 13th, 2020, our lives were uprooted. What used to be fun-filled PE classes with Mr. Holland turned to documenting strenuous workouts on a spreadsheet. Spanish classes with Mr. Sharpie turned to completing highly stimulating textbook work. And bio classes with Malt turned to watching hours and hours of the Amoeba Sisters. Before we knew it, we went from papers to Chromebooks, from in-class learning to hybrid learning, and from sophomores to juniors. Yet, through all that trouble that COVID had brought us, our class still managed to keep each other's spirits high with our smiles, sorry, with our smiles radiating through our masks. We, as a class, are united. Fast forward to our senior year, we were determined to leave that year and a half of COVID chaos behind us. We started off strong during our fall pep rally when we were louder and more enthusiastic than ever before. And I even avenged myself in the math competition. We dominated almost every event from tug of war to musical chairs, and in that return to glory, we showed the other classes why we were indeed the best. We won Haldet with an incredibly realistic depiction of the Wild West. Thank you, Ms. Shea, for that one. And our achievements weren't just confined to Spirit or Holiday. Our musicians, artists, and athletes, under the leadership of the class of 2022, brought home state titles, broke school records, and rallied the school community in support of one another. 
In my eyes, we are truly the most unified class in OA history, and that unity was especially needed after the pandemonia of the pandemic. In the words of Mrs. Palma, our <coughs> class is truly the sunshine after the rain. But as terrible and as difficult as COVID was for all of us, I truly believe we would not have been this united without it. The old saying is true. You never appreciate something until it is taken away from you. We all took for granted that we could see our friends every day in class, talk to them in the halls, and see them after school in sports and activities. But when all that was taken away from us, we truly realized how precious those moments were. So when we returned, we skipped the teenage drama and we learned to appreciate the waning time we had left together. If you don't believe me, just think back to when we dressed in our school colors, painted our bodies and faces, and rallied behind our girls' basketball team. Or more recently, for our last day, when we hugged each other and bawled our eyes out in the senior parking lot, not wanting to believe that the end is actually here. We, as a class, have a fearless attitude and a tremendous amount of confidence that will bring us far in life and shape us into the future change makers and leaders of this world. We love to compete and we love to win. But as we strive for our ambitions, I'm here to tell you to take a second to look around and breathe. Time moves fast. I remember in elementary school, when we first got our IDs, we thought that graduation year of 2022 was light years away. But in the blink of an eye, here we are. As Michael Altschuler once said, the bad news is time flies. The good news is you're the pilot. So while you're pursuing that degree, waiting for that job interview, or buying your first house, take a second to appreciate the people around you and the people that have helped you along the way. When I look back on my high school experience, I don't think about my grades, my scores, or even my title as valedictorian. Instead, I will remember the teachers that inspired me and the friends that made me laugh. Over these last 13 years, we learned from each other and we leaned on each other. These connections will last us a lifetime, as these are the people who helped us discover who we truly are, and this is the place that we will always call home. I have no doubt that you all have the confidence, resilience, and fearlessness to meet the new challenges this generation faces. But as you face these challenges, remember the words of Brene Brown. Connection is why we are here. It is what gives purpose and meaning to our lives. So be ambitious, be bold, be brave, but also be in the moment. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2022. And now I'd like to introduce our class teacher, Allison Evan, to the stage. Thank you, Kailash. That was beautiful. Family, friends, and faculty, thank you for joining us on this fabulous morning. To my fellow graduates of the class of 2022, congratulations. I know we may have been a bit more teary-eyed than most other senior classes on their last day. However, today is a day to celebrate. To celebrate all we have overcome, achieved, and discovered. To celebrate completing two true years of high school. We have finally made it. <laughs> After witnessing the bittersweet sight of the senior lot filled with 200 seniors bawling their eyes out and embracing one another after our last full day of classes, I know firsthand the tremendous amount of love and care that runs through this class. Be thankful for the friendships and cherish the memories. I won't rock you all to sleep with a long lullaby of thank yous, so I'll make it quick. To our parents, mentors, teachers, staff, administration, coaches, friends, family, and classmates, thank you. Without you, we would not be sitting here today. To my classmates, well, there is my history of being maybe a bit too rowdy at sports games, or of advertising my senior project speaking event a little bit too much, thank you for trusting me to be your class speaker. Thank you for giving me the chance to get up on stage one last time provide you with some unsolicited advice that is zero evidence of success. At this moment, I would like to now provide you with that advice. From spearheading the 32 lap Boostathon movement to role modeling Mr. Goldberg's finest creation, the Tiger Mindset, the class of 2022 has been paving our own way and a path for those behind us since the beginning. We are a class of leaders, state champions, performers, TikTok influencers, OA history department admirers, bad drivers, and caffeine junkies. 
I don't believe there ever was a time that I could look around in class and not spot at least four energy drinks. Sometimes those four might have belonged to one person. And sometimes that person might have been me. But I'm not up here to put anyone on blast. With that being said, here is my message for all of you leaders. As I just noted, we have never been a group to blindly take advice or to simply follow the leader. So, as we embark on this new chapter, keep paving your own path and do what makes you happy. You will be told how to live your life. You will be told what career to follow, who to be friends with, who to date, and what to wear. You will be rejected and you will receive advice, but in the end, you choose how to respond. You choose which path to take and which to leave behind. To quote every rejection letter I received this past March, this is not a reflection of you and your talent or ability as a student. <laughs> Despite those words being thrown around as if they didn't just crush childhood dreams, there is some truth behind them. Rejection is simply a redirection or a hump in the road to go over. Now it seems like a good time to share a brief story. As a young child, I grew up watching LeBron James. He was my idol and I wanted to be just like him. When travel team trials came along and teams were posted, I was flabbergasted to find myself on the third team. This came as a shock to me as I was the tallest player at that age and thought that my enormous height would outweigh the incoordination of my lanky limbs. For a moment, I thought maybe the sport was not my calling. Maybe my height was better used as a goalie on the soccer field. Maybe I belonged inside Moscato Stadium as a football player. However, this disappointment did not slow my momentum and I kept grinding. I bought those expensive basketball shoes that were scientifically proven to transform my abilities into those of an NBA player according to her advertisements. My parents gifted me with a 10 foot tall adjustable basketball hoop for the front driveway where I learned to dunk. Eight years later, I was named captain of the all firms boys varsity basketball team and chosen to have a mural of myself painted on the wall just outside the home of our astounding trainer, Cassidy. Now, I must admit, I know it may come as a surprise, the story is actually not mine. As much as I would have loved to join the Lady Tigers in our state championship this year as their team captain, and I'm still waiting for my own mural in the atrium, my abilities did not take me past JV. Instead, I stuck to playing footy in the fall with Mr. Selmeyer and spent afternoons in the room of all rooms, newest engineering chief, Mr. Lobo. There, I built the most advanced and high-tech underwater robot the school has ever seen. However, I don't share this stolen story just to brag about my basketball failures and my state-of-the-art robot, but to share a lesson. Because of our age and the many years we have yet to live, the success of our individual futures is often measured by this made-up unit called potential. We are then put into certain boxes based on how much potential others think we have. I mentioned earlier that we have always been a class to pave our own path. So in your futures, when you are put into that box, told you don't have enough potential, pave your own path. Whether that path is to persevere in the same direction or in another, keep going. You know yourself best, so do what makes you happy. Of course, this lifestyle does not come without the inevitable mistakes that will follow. Sometimes you may tread a path that guides you directly into a trash of grizzly bears, or you may dye your blonde hair dark brown, despite literally everyone telling you not to. But mistakes are a necessary part of the process. If you don't make them, you'll never learn how to navigate your own path. And you'll end up relying on the advice of those around you. Even when the outcome is not what you expected and you end up avoiding mirrors for a week because the sight of your blonde hair gone dark shocks you every time, the important thing is that you made the choice. You took control of your own path and you can now learn from those decisions to better navigate in the future. Of course, in order to lend some credibility to my 100% optional advice, I would like to quote the epic William Shakespeare. In his longest play, Hamlet, the timeless author, playwright, and poet wrote, a mistake hath only an error when thou hast not learned. Just kidding, I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> but Henry Ford did say that the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. And that basically means the same thing. Before I depart from this podium, and we all join the elite group of Oliver Ames graduates, I'd like to take a moment to recognize what I believe to be 
the most profound feature of this class. Individually, I'm sure we've all had our fair share of mistakes, but together, we are the perfect blend of students. We are the perfect blend of imperfect individuals from various backgrounds, with diverse interests, personalities, and curiosities, and for that, I am incredibly thankful. I don't think it is a coincidence that it has been so hard for us to say goodbye. Fellow graduates, from here on out, all of our futures will be widely different, and that is exactly how it should be. Like I said earlier, you know yourself best, so trust yourself. Of course, listen to others too, just not always. You don't even have to take my advice, because honestly, I'm just another voice telling you what you should do, or in this case, not do. For the class of 2022, congratulations. I cannot wait to see all that you do. Make sure to enjoy today, and finally, keep paving your own path. Thank you. I'm happy to now introduce our principal, Ms. Kavanaugh. This morning, the planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn aligned in our night sky. The last occurrence of this kind was 18 years ago, around the time we were born. Now, I'm not sure if there's any profound significance to this, but I think the universe is trying to tell us something that you were meant to be in this place at this time, surrounded by your peers, together, and as Kailash stated, unified for the last time. Class of 2022, you are an exceptional group of young adults who have truly made a long lasting impact on the Oliver Ames community and the town of Easton. Thank you so much for all you have done, honestly, to create a school culture that is welcoming, positive, and takes the time to celebrate the accomplishments of each and every member of our OA family. I'd like to take a moment to thank the members of the Easton Public School Administration, our school committee, our esteemed guests, Representative Carol Doherty and Senator Walter Timothy for joining us today to celebrate, in the cel to celebrate this outstanding group of students. They are truly going to change the world for the better. I also want to extend my sincerest gratitude to the Department of Public Works, the faculty, custodians, and students who helped transform Frothingham Park for our ceremony. And I especially want to thank my assistant, Peggy Crowley. None of this would have happened without you. Can we give them a round of applause? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I would like to invite Superintendent Dr. Leisha Cabral, School Committee Member, um, School Committee Chair Michelle Durant, and School Committee Vice Chair Jennifer Starr to the stage. I'd like to invite the Senior Class Advisors, the outstanding Mrs. Susan Sweeney, Ms. Kristen Shea, along with the members of the School Committee off to the stage left. Are you guys ready? Mrs. Durance, the students before you have successfully completed the course of studies as prescribed by the Easton School Committee to graduate from Oliver Ames High School. The administration, faculty, and staff of Oliver Ames are honored and proud to present them to you to be awarded their programs. Let's begin. Senior Class President Kathleen Trong. Tamora Oido Corito Peters. Shannon Elizabeth Willard. Anna Matilda Palillo. Allison Catherine Evans. Carla Salaha Ganesh. Jadzia Gail Belmore. Christian Lloyd Pontov. Tyler Allison Dakuda. Amelia Mary Laughlin. 
Kaylee Marie O'Connell. Brad Harrison Parad. Raina Mackenzie Roach. Kylie Ann Spillane. Marie May Tarpe. Ethan Dominic Viveris. Lauren Elizabeth Gilgan. Akash Ibi. Rebecca Wilson Abru. Molly Catherine Alexander. Carter Ryan Albritton. Eric Richard Anderson. Evan Spencer Avery. Christopher James Avilis. Anna Elizabeth Ballastino. Emily Ann Barnett. Jaden Barrett. Abigail Marie Bark. Amanda Claire Bark. Drew Thomas Baxter. Adams Billy Becerra. Elena Marie Bellesimo. <laughs> Noah Thomas Bolito. <laughs> Jessica Catherine Bello. <laughs> Isabella Mary Berg. <laughs> Reese Jacqueline Glass. Kaylee Jean Born. <laughs> Alexandra Elise Brass. <laughs> Shelby Jordan Brass. <laughs> Kima Jairus Kane Braxton II. <laughs> Mila Christine Broadmeadow. Abigail Claire Layla Brian Jones. John Henry Butcher Gross. Jennifer Ann Bookie. Thomas Oliver Cabral. Anthony Michael Khaleesi II. Isaiah James Kamara. Jack Patrick Capiello. Mackenzie Virginia Carney. Nathan Ross Carpentier. Bianca Carr. Madison Marie Perry. Sarah Ray Cathy. Mohammed Ali Chadley. Joseph Michael Chiquetti. Tanner Joseph Clark. Adeline Marie Clifford. Elliot Joseph Cohen. Sophia Emily Cohen. Brendan Joseph Connolly. Bryn Regan Cook. Alexander Francis Hopset. Ava Jean Costello. Georgia Mary Costello. Claudia Josephine Cox. Michael Edward Cruz. 
Kevin Connor Croak. Cassandra Jill Cronin. Kelly Ann Crowley. Lily Mathalis Crowley. Patrick Richard Carreri. Colin Anthony Daly. Danielle Miranda D'Souza. Abigail Elise DeFrancesco. Jason Scott Dillon. Grayson Lucia Dion. John Robert Dobbin. Thomas John Donahue. Abigail Catherine Donlin. James Michael Doolittle. Ethan Lavard Delcio. Matthew James Dunlap. Laurel Ricardo Eads. Owen Reese Eldridge. John James Feeney Jr. Jake Matthew Lopez Colonel. Antonio Joseph Fernandez. Michael John Caroli. Sophia Fiorentina Ferrara. Elizabeth Francis Fleming. Ethan Xavier Foltz. Fabrice Patrick Foron. Sean Patrick Frio. Wyatt John Richman. Sean Patrick Galligan. Lily Caroline Gaskill. Joseph Derek Gaultier. Catherine Eileen Gibson. Antonia Marie Guinness. Aisha Sarah Gerard. Alexandra Claire Glennon. Nathaniel Curtis Goddard. Maximilian Jan Gradzu. Kaylee Michelle Gramer. Jaden Alexander <laughs> Megan Jane Green <laughs> Jacob Paul Romaldi <laughs> Olivia Rose Habig <laughs> Michael Kaiser Heichel <laughs> Maisie Elizabeth Hockenden. <laughs> Benjamin Paul. Ellis Hamilton. Richard Hanna. <laughs> Kenneth Stewart Hardy. <laughs> James Thomas Harrison Accord. Ashton Nicholas Hart. Evan Salvatore Hilliard. Sophia Leona Hurdle. Anthony Edward Hoffman. Katarina Ava Hoffman. Brantley Thomas Holmes. Laura Grace Holmes.
Carly Jade Gosey. Lila Gail Ingalls. Cameron Sky Isbeck. Chase Simone Isbeck. Gabrielle Lair Jacobs. MJ Lesser. Giovanni Junior 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 Justin. Hallie Marie Kandar. Jake Charles Kaplan. Emily Grace Kelly. Lauren Elizabeth Kelly. Tegan Kelly. Abram Joseph Kempner. Benjamin Ray Kempner. Samuel Walter Kidd. Jordan Olivia Hodges. Sophia Sinclair Princey. Georgia Victoria Krauski. Alexa Perry Lane. Andrew Kathy LeBlanc. Paris Elizabeth Lentini. Aliyah Grace Leventhal. Nathaniel Stanton Lewis. Derek Nathaniel Steve Jr. Paul Alexandra Alexander Lozano. John Edward McDonald IV. Charles Edward McGinnis. Catherine Elaine Malafato. Cody Royal Mann. Tatum Ashley Manson. Zachary Alexander Marks. Anthony Massad. Haley Marie Master Mateo. Jacob Ian McCarthy. Ella May McDonough. Caitlin Aaliyah McGarry. Kate Dara McLaughlin. Owen Thomas McMorrow. Kyla Alexis Mack Melton. Emily Kirsten Myers. Jeremy Catherine Milliken. Christopher James Mills. Jenna Elizabeth Mills. Caitlin Nicole Montgomery. Ryan Joseph Moore. Cassandra Jean Moriarty. Jacob Robert Morrell. Brady Michael Morrison. John Joseph Muir. Lauren Brooks Malarzik. Anna Elizabeth Murphy. 
Gavin Carter Murphy. <laughs> Hannah Nicole Murphy. <laughs> Anthony Christian Nicopolis. <laughs> Alexander James Mason. <laughs> Clyde Armstrong No. <laughs> Matthew Philip Nimicolo. Min Nguyen. Sydney Nguyen. Francesca De Natalie Niosi. Jacob Thomas Nipoti. Onyeka Chuku Obanani Kenneth Jr. Wadagu. Lauren Kathleen O'Connell. Cameron Shea O'Connor. Nathaniel Brian O'Connor. Sydney Amanda O'Connor. Emma Elizabeth O'Hara. Matthew Thomas O'Malley. Michael Edward Orsinger. Aiden Kevin Paulette Murray. Madeline Holmes Palm. Alexander Andrew Pashas. Anthony Patrick. Angel Noel Pena Jordan. Caroline Marie Pepper. Harris Perry. Tatum Giselle Perry. Adriana Nicole Petrillo. Hannah Lauren Phillips. Ian Patrick Phillips. Ethan Frankie Pierre. Olivia Bridget Pipe. Alexander Valentinovich Kriaginski. Matthew Azarakam Princiata. Sean Earl Pringle. Christopher Robert Kuskar. Daniel James Riley. Kathy Conifer Rhodes. Jack Elliott Richardson. Mia Ashleen Reinhardt. Ella Gwynn Rivers. Peyton Leslie Rivers. Zoe Malia Riviecchio. Andrew McCullough Rogers. Laraella Santos Russo. Elia Guzmata. Camden Harris Sadow. Richard Christopher Richard Santos Jr. Samuel Max Schoenfeld. Lauren Quinlan Selmayer. Dimitri Nectarios Saramedis. Elijah Allen Sidney. Noah Benjamin Siegel. 
Anna Clara Silva Morris. Molly Jane Skinner. Jose Isaiah Soares. Lucas Sampio Nascimento Soares. Kaylee Elizabeth Soto. Jason Anthony Kent Spagone. Ryan Andrew Trozinski. Jacob Marshall Starr. <laughs> Rebecca Denise Steves. Ellie Brooke Strott. Clarimar Anatolia Suazo. Emily Amber Sussman. Kyle Martin Zanello. Charlotte Elena Tagliamonte. Zachary Edward Tagliamonte. Matias Sebastian Taylor. Joshua Nathaniel Tachi. Alyssa Madison Torrey. Cameron Brooke Tower. Wesley Graham Tower. Me Tran. Hannah Sydney Triber. Jaden Dakari Tull. Hannah May Umana. Raphael Celestin Bosch. Morgan Elizabeth Vassilou. Jared Scott Rosano. Yeah. Hannah Olson Walker. Yeah. Bradford Crosby Washburn Jr. Jake Miles Waxman. Catherine Angela Weatherby. Sophia Helene Webb. B. Patricia Webster. Samuel Aaron Weintraub. Emily Cynthia Welch. Loretta Margo White. Meredith Anna Whitelaw. Benjamin Michael Whiteside. Faith, Jessica Faith Widow. Colin Arthur Williamson. Bradley Douglas Wilson. Riley Ashleen Wesson Wolf. <laughs> Melanie Lynn Yell. <laughs> Seniors, you may now turn your tassels to the other side. I now present to you the graduates of Oliver Ames High School Class of 2022.